There was a few years ago, uh, I think that it was uh, published 2004, uh, uh, a new booklet on, uh, oh sorry, on uh, genetics and the history of genetics uh, during this period. It, it's called uh, Genetics Behind the Iron Cotton, and it was published by uh, the colleagues from Brno, which is actually the Department for the History of Genetics. Uh, currently, uh, there is a new research project that uh, should uh, start next year for, uh, and should go on for three years in Prague, which should uh, focus on these topics uh, much more uh, broader. So it means not only genetics, but we hope also to include agriculture and, for example, medicine, uh, the history of medicine. Um, so oh, yeah. Uh, just uh, general information on the, uh, on the countries in Central Europe. Uh, we are uh, talking this uh, afternoon. Uh, my part is this one. It means Czechoslovakia. Uh, that became uh, actually a, a part of the Soviet uh, bloc in uh, 1948. The communist takeover took part uh, in uh, February 1948. But probably what is quite interesting and important at the same time for the history of uh, Lysenkoism is uh, that um, uh, we should mention uh, a little bit more complicated history that is actually going back to the 1930s and 40s. It means uh, the German occupation because um, the first reflections and comments on the so-called Soviet science uh, were made already uh, after 1945. Until 1945, uh, uh, Bohemia, especially Bohemia and Moravia, developed also in the area of uh, science as a bilingual um, uh, space, as we can call it, uh, of two uh, separated scientific communities, Czech <laughs> one and German one. Uh, it ended in 1945, of course, and in this period there was a huge distrust <coughs> in German science. So it was also the case of German uh, biology, and uh, already in 1945, in 46, first comments uh, were made by several um, scientists uh, that were actually imported back from Moscow to Prague. And these comments touched also uh, the classical genetics. So, uh, for example, uh, immediately after the end of the World War II, uh, there was a, a professor, Arnold Kohlmann, uh, the so-called Red Professor at the Moscow uh, University and prominent theoretist of Marxist science. Uh, he was sent back because he was of Czech origin uh, from Moscow to Prague. And uh, according to him, uh, uh, the uh, dialectical materialism uh, and especially any use of genetic theory uh, should be rejected as an expression of the so-called fa fascist biology or medicine. So if we have discussed today the problem of the so-called pseudoscience and the use of this term, we should uh, mention uh, that it was used also from the opposite side already since the 1930s. So in this short period after 1945, uh, it was Mendelian genetics that, uh, that was called as the so-called pseudoscience. Or uh, this Professor Coleman uh, used even the uh, expression uh, of the so-called beast principles of Mendelian genetics. Um, the arrival of a totalitarian communist regime in Czechoslovakia a few years later, so it means in 1948, led to the uh, establishment of the ideology of Marxism 
and Leninism as the only acceptable framework of explanation and method. On the top of that, it had also become a tool for eliminating any alternatives. The most radical excesses, especially in the area of natural sciences, occurred in the, in the Czechoslovak case in the first decade of the communist dictatorship, that means approximately between 1948 and 1958. Um, one contemporary poster. Um, Czechoslovak science at that time and higher ed education, uh, very similar to the situation in Hungary, was, uh, or Eastern Germany, uh, or Poland, uh, was uh, uh, subjected to the direct supervision of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Czechoslovakia. Uh, uh, even uh, new institutions were created at that time, also as, for example, in Hungary, the Czechoslovak Academy of Science in 1952. And uh, uh, in these institutions, uh, but also in the older universities, the Soviet model and the direct influence of Soviet, sorry, of Soviet uh, uh, ideologies uh, became the means of control uh, and also a sort of symbol of new orientation of the socialist science. It was a term. The goal of the science uh, was uh, to be socialist one, as you can see, for example, uh, here in this poster. Uh, uh, of course, uh, as I mentioned uh, already before that some disciplines like uh, sociology in, uh, uh, in humanities or genetics in natural science uh, receive the uh, status of reactionary Burgess pseudosciences. Uh, the doctrine of Lysenkoism, or to be more specific, uh, Mitchell bi uh, biology was uh, uh, also introduced in Czechoslovakia. Um, uh, in uh, the name of, especially of Mitchell biology, that was really uh, the term Mitchell biology or the teaching of Lysenko. Uh, together with the, uh, with the so-called creative Darwinism, uh, became part and partial of, uh, uh, of uh, the uh, teaching at the universities, uh, especially after 1950 and 1951. Despite of that, if uh, I can take granted some memories of the contemporaries, uh, the situation was a, a sort of schizophrenic in the way that um, uh, officially uh, there, was, uh, uh, there were no courses in classical genetics, but some of the professors uh, did it in a very special way or handled that in a very special way that first they introduced uh, the teaching of Lysenko, for example, for 20 minutes, and then uh, for the rest, they explained uh, the uh, foundations of the classical genetics. Uh, so um, uh, this was uh, definitely the case uh, in the area of medical genetics, for example. Uh, we still don't uh, know much about the situation in agronomy. So we need uh, uh, to uh, do much more research on that. Uh, however, uh, the departments of genetics that were created after the end of the Second World War, uh, new departments of genetics just survived through the 1950s. Uh, at least uh, in, uh, in Prague uh, and Brno as well. Uh, so, um, uh, if uh, uh, we are reviewing the published production uh, of uh, the classics of Lysenkoism and Mitchell biology. It's uh, significant that, uh, for example, 
Uh, most of them were uh, uh, translated from Russian to Czech and Slovak language between 1948 and 54, not later. Uh, it was about 12 pieces, both monographs and shorter studies or even single speeches by Lysenko. In this period, also two, uh, two biographical and hagiographic booklets from Soviet authors on Lysenko were translated as well. Concerning the teaching of uh, uh, Lepeshinskaya, there were four uh, pieces translated between 1951 and 54. Uh, also, uh, between 1950 and 52, further collections or volumes that were originally published in Russian by Soviet authors were translated uh, into Czech, among them especially uh, the uh, very famous collection against the re reactionary mentalism and morganism. Um, What is interesting from uh, the technical point of view is uh, that uh, 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 the forum for the new biology, for the new Soviet biology, uh, was especially a, a new uh, journal or journals that were created in uh, 1950. Similar again as in Hungarian case by a special uh, society of Czechoslovak uh, Soviet friendship. So it had actually only uh, little or uh, very few to do with uh, the older uh, journals, uh, uh, especially in the area of biology. And it was actually a huge. Uh, uh, amount of journals covering or in the Czechoslovak case covering all scientific uh, disciplines it started with biology went through medicine agriculture philosophy and so on and so on here it was in generally uh, called Soviet science and then you can see which part of it uh, 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 was just relevant uh, here, for example, it's the volume from uh, uh, the year 1952. Uh, uh, if uh, we ask for the uh, reasons or just uh, uh, for uh, 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 yeah, the reasons why uh, several scientists in the Czech case uh, inclinated uh, to uh, the uh, Lysenkoism or Mitrian biology, uh, and if we remain in the scientific area, uh, uh, it's true that there were uh, several of them very prominent, especially uh, from uh, the area of um, uh, uh, <coughs> agricultural science, uh, sciences. Uh, the names are uh, not uh, important here, I think, but uh, relevant for them is that there were about um, uh, three or four pretty small group within the agricultural scientists who took uh, a very uh, important positions in uh, uh, several institutions, for example, as uh, in the Czechoslovak Academy of Agricultural Scientists, uh, sciences, which was originally technocratic institution created already in uh, back in uh, 1930s. Uh, against them, uh, or in the opposite, uh, the older generation uh, of geneticists, uh, especially those who were active, active uh, uh, in uh, uh, eugenic movement, uh, <coughs> uh, remained uh, in their positions and uh, were just uh, quiet or didn't comment the development on uh, Lysenko. So they survived uh, uh, with one exception uh, in Brno, uh, but there were also a another political reasons, quite untouched until uh, the late 1950s. 
the first uh, uh, first uh, 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 the first criticism in the Czech in the Czechoslovak mm -hmm. case uh, on Lysenko uh, uh, occurred about 1956 and later on. Uh, it doesn't mean that the supporters in this uh, uh, area of agricultural sciences uh, were abolished, absolutely not, but uh, you can find, for example, critical articles in the newspaper that were uh, very uh, con uh, uh, specific on uh, uh, the development and on the, uh, on the situation. And then, of course, uh, and it uh, uh, may be, um, or it, it, it's probably uh, uh, quite interesting development uh, related just with Czechoslovakia, especially uh, at the uh, beginning of 1960s, uh, uh, when uh, the Brno, the capital city of Moravia, and the place where Mendel uh, took his experiments back to the 19th century, should became uh, a place in 1965 uh, of the re so-called rehabilitation of uh, classical genetics. And uh, what was actually based on a, on a, uh, a meeting or on results of a meeting of the uh, general secretaries of Czechoslovakia and Soviet Union in Prague. So this development was significant for uh, the all Soviet bloc, not only for Czechoslovakia. So here you can see uh, two very important persons of the second category of those who actually opposed the Lysenkoism in Czechoslovakia, Professor Sekla and Professor Niemetz who died one year uh, after this meeting in Brno, but who really bridged this period uh, in uh, the Czechoslovak case, both in biology, uh, especially in uh, 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 medical genetics. Uh, 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 here uh, probably, uh, and I should conclude with uh, uh, the uh, second aspect why uh, uh, the Lysenkoism uh, beyond uh, the scientific area or the area of science could be important as a politics. But again, we need to do much more uh, research on that. Uh, is that uh, in uh, or going back uh, to 1952, the Communist Party decided uh, to force the so called uh, collectivization uh, uh, in the countryside. And uh, in uh, February 1952, it was decided that Soviet experts will come from Soviet Union to advise this process also from uh, the uh, point of view of the agricultural sciences. So this may be another reason where Lysenkoism or area where, Lys where Lysenko, uh, uh, where Lysenko's background of these experts could be important for the very practical politics in, uh, in uh, uh, this particular uh, case of Czechoslovakia. So uh, this is probably uh, just a um, conclusion, yeah. Thank you.